Welcome back to Irish Nerd Life, the forgotten YouTube channel. Um, very impromptu video. Don't know why, but for some reason I just got it in my head today to make a bit of a video. So, something that I was going to talk about a long time back. Um, and I just, I guess I'll talk about it today. And that's the Wii U. Uh, so, I guess you could consider this a mixture of my thoughts on the Wii U and my Wii U collection to date. So, first of all, the system. What's there to say, beyond the fact that it's not doing that well? Well, I guess you could call it an interesting piece of hardware. Um, controller, novel, but to be honest, it doesn't really add that much to any of the experiences I have had so far. And seems to basically make the console more expensive than it needs to be. On the other hand, it's great to play Nintendo games in HD at last. And uh, there are some good games, which we'll be getting to. Um, but I guess I I enjoy the software that's coming out, but the actual Wii U hardware, I can kind of see why Nintendo were struggling. It just doesn't have the same impact that the Wii did. Confusing naming, um, kind of high price point for for what you're getting. Uh, I understand that they had you know the cost is in the controller, but the controller, I don't know, it just doesn't quite it doesn't doesn't do it for me really. I love the Pro Controller more and I play with that most of the time. But anyway, it's, it's a console with, mixed, um, with a mixed uh, success rate which has been good for me because I've been able to pick up a lot of games relatively cheap. And by and large, I think I like them. So let's go through them. Um, to begin with, I think we'll go through the kind of special editions because um, there's only a couple of those. Most recently, if you follow me on Twitter, you will see um, that I picked up Hyrule Warriors, which is I'm sorry to practice. I don't know which way to hold these things. I've only played. I've played it an hour and a bit or so. It is not really getting it. It's clearly a Dynasty Warriors game, and I've never played one of those before. I'm coming in up from the Zelda angle. Lots of nice nods, um, but I'm I'm unsure. I'm on the fence of it so far. So, there's a normal edition for those that are wondering, and this one is also. Compatible with the Pro Controller, so I'll probably be playing with the Pro Controller. In fact, I think I have been playing. I only play, played it that one time, and I can't even remember. Was it the Pro, Pro Controller or the Wii U gamepad? But if it was the Wii U gamepad, it says it, says it all. I have no idea what the gamepad did. Now that's the first one. Now, the second one. Great game, this. Mario Kart 8. Um, but this is the version that came with this little... Oh, Christ, the thing fell off. Base. It's, it's, it doesn't actually join together, which is a bit annoying. Oh. There we got this. Yeah, it's good to be back. There we go. There we go. So, the spiny blue shell of doom. It's okay. It's um, it's a video that doesn't properly fit together and stay together, because it means if you go to move it, it falls apart. But anyway, so it came with the, that would came with the game. Uh, as for the game itself, definitely the best Mario Kart I've played since Mario Kart DS. It's The graphics are great, it really does capture that kind of cartoony feel perfectly. Uh, my only disappointment has been the, the kind of single player could have had a little more fleshing out, like in the DS game you had missions and stuff. Um, the battle mode, uh, it's definitely taken a bit of a hit. And for me, because of my crappy online connection, I generally can't get online. But that's that's my end. That's not the game, I think. But uh, from I've actually completely cleared this game. Really, really good fun. So much better than Mario Kart 7 and Mario Kart uh, Wii. I didn't really get in with those at all. But this one, I think the, the kind of anti-gravity definitely kind of gives it another twist. And um, actually makes me really want the downloadable content, which is, I've actually already pre-ordered. Because uh, for those who don't know... On top of this being a fully featured game, like there's this, the 32 carts, or the 32 tracks, good number of carts, good number of um, characters, although some of the choices are a bit suspect. It's a full featured game, but there's going to be DLC, and the DLC is actually good value. I mean, if you buy it all together, there's uh, the Zelda Mario Kart pack, or the Zelda Cross Mario Kart, and there's the um, Animal Crossing Cross Mario Kart. So you're going to get another 16 tracks. I think it's six carts and six more characters for 12 euros, which is 
like that's half the content of the game for 12 euros that's that's freaking a great deal so i can't wait to play more of that um great game now my other special edition and this is the one that i actually pretty much got when i got the system because or rather when my wife got me the system it's the um the uh, Wind Waker HD Collector's Edition, and that comes with. I look actually, I like the the artwork, and that's really nice. By and large, I like the boxes for all these special editions. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Ganondorf figure. That's that, that. Like this is better than the Mario Kart one. It's it's firm. It's solid. It's definitely uh, presentable. Now that was interesting because for me that was the first game I played on the Wii U, which is essentially I played a GameCube game in HD. I liked the GameCube game, but it had its flaws, and I have to say, I think the HD version really did a good job at fixing a lot of those. The fast sailing, the um, cutting down of the Triforce quest to a certain degree, uh, and the HD graphics they, you know, were nice too. But then again, the, the cell shading aged very well. So, I, I actually think I probably enjoyed this more this time, like I 100 percented the game. Well, sorry, no, I didn't. I didn't get all the figurines, but I got all the heart pieces, all the other stuff, which I did not do on the GameCube. I just, the sailing was just so slow. I just, I ended up giving up near the end. But no, I very much enjoyed that game. Top quality. So there we go. That's my first, that's my treat. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Technically, I guess this is a special edition. It's Lego City uh, Undercover, and it comes with the, the bad guy, is it? Or who does it come with? Oh, Chase McLean uh, figurine. Now, I actually haven't played this one that much. Um, looks interesting. GTA meets Lego. Uh, the first change to the Lego game formula in quite a while. But, I don't know, I just... I might be a little Lego'd out, even though this is a bit different. And it does, like, there's a proper story with voice acting. And it does seem like it's, it's good for what it is. But I think you really have to be into mood, because it's really collected on repeat, repeat, repeat. Um... So that's, it's, unlike the last three, where, or unlike Mario Kart and Zelda at least, I haven't, I've had this for quite a while and haven't got into it that much. But there's, a, that's the other special one. Definitely a much smaller case. That's the, it's the Lego-y special, where they always throw in the figure and, and charge you a bit more. But I got that on, I got that for less than half price. Um, so anyway, on to the regular games now. Actually, speaking of half price, because of, at the time the Wii U was failing, I managed to get this for like 17 euros or something, the Wii U Pro Controller. I think they're looking for about 50 quid for now, which is ridiculous. But, um, my God, I'm so glad I picked that up when I did. So, anyway, on to the games, on to the games. Move over with 3DS games. So, well, on to the rest of the games. Uh, <clears throat> they're sitting behind me. Of course, I would plant myself on the ground. Um, and just back from walking the dog, so I'm filthy and everything. So, quite why I decided to just throw myself on the ground and stick on a camera. Good going, good going, really professional. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's actually well, I've got nine here, although one of them is Mario Kart eight, so that doesn't really count. Da 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 da. We'll stick that over. Um, now what was I going to say? I do have a couple of DLC games. I have Doctor Kawashima's Brain Training. It was free. I wanted to see how the DS emulation works. It works okay. I've played Brain Training before. What can you say? Um, Sudoku's good enough. The what was the other one? I downloaded as part of Mario Kart 8. You were able to get it if you registered the game. You got a free other game. So I ended up getting the Wonderful 101. Uh, I haven't really played it. I've only played the first level and I got completely stuck at it for ages. So I left it for now, but I will get back to it. It, it looks interesting, but it, it's meant to be kind of long, so I'll need to make time for it. Uh, and the other game I downloaded is um, sorry, no, I have two more downloadable games. Jeez, I only remember. I have NEX Remix, or NES Remix 1, which I've cleared. I'm holding off and getting two, because I'm actually hoping that they're going to do a physical release like they did in Japan. And I have DuckTales Remastered. I, they're, I don't know if it's still on, but they're doing a Capcom half-price or better sale on the eShop. And um, yeah, I picked that up for like six euros. I won't pay any more, but I did enjoy it. It was a good game, good remastering for that price. Um, while we're on the eShop topic... My God, have they improved the overall experience. Background downloads, sales, unlike the Wii Shop, they can never do something, proper currency, being able to pay the amount you want and not have to put in extra money and then have two euros or however much left over sitting in your account until you, you want more. So much better. It's just a pity that they haven't fleshed out the Wii, uh, the virtual console. 
what's that all about? It's it's tiny compared to the Wii one. Strange, strange, strange. They'll say just go to the Wii mode uh, on the Wii U and 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 play it that way. I've only used the Wii mode once, and that was to play. Um, I mean, we'll talk. Um, that's somewhere there. To play the last Kirby game, Kirby's Dreamland Adventure Wii or something like that. It was pretty good actually. But anyway, Wii U software. So, the first one that I got into after Mario, after Zelda, was was New Super Mario Bros. U. Now, do you? Got it. I'm fairly sure it has to go on this side, but I keep doing my right hand. So yeah, this um, again, I got this reduced, which it says it all, isn't it? Like Mario game reduced in the first year of the system's life. Crazy. Um, you got a lot of slack for being basically another new Super Mario game, Brothers game. And yeah, it is by the numbers in many ways. But it's it's good fun. It, I really enjoyed it. Like, played from start to finish all the extra levels, all the coins, yada yada yada. Co I, I mean, it's Mario. Yes, it's by the numbers, but yes, it is fun. And of course, then you follow that up with new Super Mario Luigi U. This is basically harder, more challenging than <laughs> Mario U. The levels are shorter, you only get 100 seconds per them, but they are tough. And you definitely have to be on your A game. But again, it's a great follow on. And this is also done as a DLC or as a, as a, a reduced retail game. The year of Luigi, Luigi, you actually had some good games that year. I salute you. So, well, we're on the Mario theme because they all seem to be sitting together. Super Mario 3D World. Yahoo! I'm a cat now. And um, I thought I actually wrote this off. Oh, wait. Forgot to say. Out of the box, neither, I think this one and this one, they actually, sorry, out of the box, Martin, this one does not use support the GamePad Pro, but they f did an update to fix that. This one does support it. Mario Kart, <laughs> basically, Mario Kart, Mario Warriors, they support it. This is the only game that I can think of, because Zelda um, Wii U, I'm going all over the place, as usual. This one supports the GamePad Pro, but I actually did prefer the uh, Wii U GamePad. Just having the map and, and whatnot and your inventory on the GamePad did streamline the experience, especially with the sailing, which is another reason why I enjoy this over the GameCube. But it is compatible and it works well. This is the only game that's not compatible because it uses the, um, the gamepad in novel ways. Um, so yeah, this one, it's compatible with a lot of things. I wrote this off thinking this is going to be 3D land kind of on the console like a lot of people did, but I was wrong. It's actually really good. Um, it's... It's hard to describe, like, when you when you think of the old 3D games, it's not quite like that, and it's not like the 2D games, but it, it is, a, it's definitely a, a mixture. It's, 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 it is it's a 3D land formula, but fleshed out, and really, really nice looking, and, yeah, if you have a Wii U, you gotta get this. Now, another platforming game, another game that is uh, compatible with the Pro Controller, and um, a game I actually really like, and that's Sonic Lost World. I fi this finally went on sale so I could buy it. I was waiting for it. I would not pay more than 20 euros for this. I was waiting for it to go under 20 euros. Um, because I heard very mixed reviews, and I can totally understand why people don't like it. There's some very questionable content. It's got three different styles of game. It's got these kind of spherical levels. It's got these kind of t more 3D, you know, the recent 3D levels running into this uh, distance. And it's got 2D stuff. I love the presentation. The graphics really are like you took Sonic 1 or 2 and, and you kind of made them HD and cartoony in 3D. It, it, and they have all the bad nicks back and whatnot. It's, the, the areas where they try to implement the, um, the gamepad <laughs> yeah, makes no sense at all. Uh, so in, like, that's why I, I played it with the Pro Controller and it was better. <laughs> um, it's it's not perfect. There are a few areas where the gameplay is a little hit and miss. Um, but I really enjoyed it. It's got a lot of flack. Um, but yeah, I, I thought it was good fun. Um, another game I got seriously reduced, but I haven't um, played it too much, is Sonic All-Stars Racing Transformed. 
I didn't get into this for whatever reason other games came out and then Mario Kart came along so Mario Kart kind of stole its thunder this is like the Sega Mario Kart and I do hope to get into it more because it's meant to be very good um, and apparently there's exclusive Wii U features there's Mon Monkey Ball and Shinobi modes and you can have the Wii U gamepad act, act as a map or a mirror and you can play as your me eh, whatever I'll probably use the Pro Controller because it's also compatible but from what, the, from what little I played, it was good. Um, Nintendo Game Land, uh, Nintendo Land, haven't played it at all. <laughs> Whenever people, like it's very much a multiplayer game and no one has wanted to play it, so. That was, that was like 12 euros or something. Ridiculous. Um, this was uh, another platformer, another great game, and that's Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. I did not really care for Donkey Kong Country Returns. Just the difficulty balance, the graphics, the music, it just felt either it didn't quite click or it wasn't um it wasn't in keeping with the, the original trilogy. Now there's still areas where this has that problem, for example, the enemies. Where where is the Kremlins? Where's Keru? Where where's the tie to the series? But the, the enemies that they do have this, they do feel much better fleshed out than Donkey Kong Country Returns. Um, the graphics in HD are much nicer. They, um, they kind of, they, they fit the graphical style better. They, um, they brought Dixie back, which is finally! And the music, they brought David Wise back, which is even more finally! Oh my god, he did a great job. It totally blows the original Returns. It just has that, it steps it up that level. There's a few really good tracks on this. It's it's quite tough. It's definitely the toughest of the platform games. I've completed it, but I don't think I've done the secret world because, Christ's sake, some of the challenges are hard. Um, I basically played as much as, as I wanted. It's also pro... In fact, not only is this pro compatible, you are better playing with that controller because the gamepad, if you're not playing off TV play, it turns the screen off completely. So there's no point playing with the gamepad at all. But... Um, Funny story, our dog Ashley doesn't like Donkey Kong Karate Free, Tropical Freeze. She, whenever she hears some of the animal noises, especially at the beginning of the level, she freaks out, can't understand where they're coming from, roar, 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 and go running through the house going, where are these animals? But um, I enjoyed it anyway. So, last one then, and it is a game I couldn't believe how much time I sunk into. It is Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, Ubisoft finally actually producing it good game and the la Assassin's Creed 3 I didn't really like I liked all the previous ones but 3 just wasn't clicking on me but by god was this a return to form um, I sunk so much time I was I played online with the you know I posted stuff onto the leaderboards and whatnot uh, ended up like the richest pirate in Ireland Arr! but uh, if you're going to try an Assassin's Creed game and you haven't got into it, this is a good one to try because it's not just a typical Assassin's Creed for me. It's got all the pirating and the, um, you know, the sailing along the open world, and it's it's quite engaging. It's it's actually kind of, you can definitely feel the Wind Waker element in it, believe it or not. And as I've always felt, Assassin's Creed has has definitely uh, learned a lot from Zelda with its combat style. You know, the lock on mechanic and uh, the auto jumping and stuff like that. There's there's Zelda elements in these games, but uh, yeah. <sighs> So this is the number out of all the games I have on my um, Wii U time for games. This is easily my number one game. Easily, it's about twice as long as Zelda, <laughs> and that's a long game. So actually, no, Wind Waker's not that long again. But this this is a good good game. So there we go. That's um, kind of my collection so far, and the few extras because the Wii U's not doing so good. I've picked up a lot of these games cheap, and. Um, that's good and bad. Good because hey, I can actually get to, to to buy these games. I couldn't afford them at full price at all at the moment. But um, bad because the system it's 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 not going to help the system live long term. There was the extra one actually. Ta -da! So I don't know where do I see this all going. I look at what's coming up. I look at the new Zelda game. I look at Yoshi's Woolly World, Bayonetta. Um, Splatoon, the new Star Fox game would probably be good. There was plenty shown off by Nintendo that had great, great potential. And judging by the games that they've released, because if I look at the look at the spines, it's Nintendo, 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 Sega, Sega, Nintendo, Nintendo, Ubisoft, Nintendo. 
basically the system is now the Nintendo Wii. Literally, there's no one else other than Indies and a few Sega games. Ubisoft are basically thrown into town and so is everyone else. So it's, it's up to Nintendo and if you accept that and you're okay with it, maybe it's a secondary system, it's, there's good games. If you want platform games, if you like platform games, it is the best system by far. I had, don't even have Rayman Legends, that's meant to also be class. So, I mean, if that's what you're into, go for it. But anyway, I'm running out of time, I'm running out of battery power, so we'll see you sometime in the future. Who knows when? Ta-da! Bye for now.